I'm Kelly from threeboysanadog.com. Today you are in the kitchen with Kelly. I um, got a chance to review the brand new Kraft Fresh Takes. Some of you might not even see these in your grocery store yet because they just came out mid-January. Um, I only received two of their six vari varieties. They have Southwest Three Cheese, they have Italian Parmesan, Rosemary and Roasted Garlic, Cheddar Jack and Bacon, that sounds good, Chili Lime, and Savory Four Cheese. I am getting ready to use the Southwest Three Cheese, a savory Tex-Mex blend of garlic, red chili pepper, and cumin. Cumin? I don't know, you might say it differently than I do. Okay, so it comes in a little thing like this. I've already taken apart, but it comes in a little thing like this in the refrigerator refrigerator section of your grocery store, if you can find them yet. When you open it up, it has some little recipe ideas on the inside. These little things, um, the suggested retail value is only $2.99. $2.99 and it serves six. I mean, come on. Okay, so I am making chicken tenders. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You open it, and the glue is really, 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 really sticky. I thought I was going to um, rip the whole thing apart, but I, obviously I didn't. Okay, so it comes like this. You open it up, and this is what's neat. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see that separator right there? It keeps the cheese separate from the coating. And it does that so that your coating stays crunchy. Isn't that smart? Okay, so what you do is you open up your Ziploc just like you would any other Ziploc. Okay, it's harder than it should. There we go. Okay, once you get it started, you're good. You open it up. As you can see right now, I guess you can see that, I have two separate little sections open, okay? You just pull it, ta-da! And it starts mixing together, look at that! So you have a cheesy, crunchy, spicy flavor. Okay, we like our flavors a bit spicier than others, and I don't need spicy pot necessarily, but salty, garlicky, oniony. So I'm going to add a little bit of stuff to this right here in my little Ziploc. Can you see this right here, Zachary? Yes. Zachary is helping me with my video camera today. So I'm going to add a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, and I don't measure, I just add some <laughs> Mrs. Dash chicken. I know it's kind of pointless to use Mrs. Dash when you use salt, but that's how we roll. And some Mrs. Dash Fiesta Lime. Okay. So, I get that all in there. And I actually had the opportunity to see this stuff in action before it was um, totally finalized and had gone through all of the little you know, steps that it has to go through. And while your average person would want to seal this up and shake the heck out of it, according to the people at Craft Kitchens, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to use your little hand and mix it all in like so. Okay, so once you have it all mixed in and you're ready to go, you take your chicken. I'm using boneless, skinless chicken tenderloins and I've been defrosting them for a little bit. They're still a little frozen, but that's okay. You take them and you dip them in. Can you see this? You dip them? Halfway. Like was playing with a video camera. I might have my head chopped off in a second. I got an iPod for Christmas. I mean a tripod for Christmas. Okay. <laughs> got an iPod last year. Okay, so you take your little chicken and you dip it in water. And that's strictly to make your stuff stick. You just set it in your bag and press it down. Flip it over and press it down again. That's it. So you get some... Oh, I dropped it. So you get just a little stuff on it, and you set it down, which you can't see, but in your greased bacon dish. Just 
just use the cookie sheet, alright? And you're supposed to do six, but our family of five likes more than six, so I'm going to try seven and see what happens. Actually, I might have read the directions wrong. You might press it down. Hold on. Hmm. Okay, no directions. Okay, what I'm doing with this second one, we're going to see what happens. I just pressed it down in there and then pulled some over it. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot more coated. All right, I'm going to redo this one. Okay. Obviously, I'm doing this for the first time. And I'm just pressing it on there to try to make it stick. There we go. That one looks way better. I'll show you in just a minute. Let me finish my chicken here. And I'm not speeding this video up, so what you see is what you get. He can do that, Zachary. He's bringing it around, Thomas. He's bringing it around for you. Look. He's taking it around. You're okay. I can't do my videos without my children here. Because I really need help doing the video. Walk around, baby. Walk around. Walk around. Walk around. Walk around, Tank. Go around the other way. Please don't make me redo this video, guys. I don't have any more chicken to do. I can't open the thing again. You never quite know what you're going to get in the Miller household, do you? Sometimes I redo a video like 15 times. But with something like this, I can't. I mean, once I've opened it, I've opened it. Alright, if you can see, I still have lots of stuff left. And I've already done five pieces of chicken. So, as I said, I'm cheating a little bit. And I'm doing seven instead of six, like it calls for. So maybe mine won't have as much on it as, as yours might. But we have more food. <laughs> Which means the mommy gets to have leftovers for lunch tomorrow. Yay! Alright. So, once you've done that, you take your leftovers and you just sprinkle it right on top. Can you turn that, Zachary? Yes. So you can see what I'm doing here. Uh -huh. Got it. I can still see. Little plug for Tarvis tumblers right there. Love them. No, they're not paying me and they didn't send me any. Although I would love for them to. Tarvis tumblers rule. Alright, so you take your little cookie sheet here and you just take your leftovers that's in your thing, sprinkle it right on top. We're gonna have some cheesy, 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 cheesy chicken. Alright, you just stick them in the oven. It says like 15 to 20 minutes, but since my chicken is still a little frozen, I might need to do it a little bit longer. Goodness. That's some cheesy stuff right there. Okay, that's it. No, um... No giveaways this time around. This is strictly for me to introduce you to the new Craft Fresh Takes. Um, this is going to take, you know, some time to cook. When it finishes, I will see about getting a picture on my site, www.3, the number 3. Actually, I think for you it's this way. Boysandadog.com. Bye.